One of the things that I find interesting about occlusion is that for many of us, we're just not sure how to diagnose a patient's occlusal risk or their functional risk. We're really clear on how to diagnose risk from periodontal disease, risk of getting cavities, but when it comes to functional risk, it gets a little bit fuzzier. Um, this course really is designed to simplify figuring out with every patient in your practice, are they low functional risk, moderate, high functional risks, so that we know what to expect and then so we can decide how do we manage those risks just like we would manage any other risk factors for our patient's oral health. When I think about maybe the number one takeaway from the course Occlusion in Everyday Dentistry, for me it's being able to go back to your practice and very simply and quickly in literally just a minute or two at every new patient appointment, whether it's in the hygiene chair or in the restorative chair, being able to figure out who are the patients I really need to be concerned that we're going to have some negative sequela from a functional risk that's present for them. You know, I always love being at CDA Presents, whether it's in San Francisco or it's in Anaheim. It's always such an energetic meeting. People come, they're ready to learn. Um, they're super fun locations. And so whether it's just dentists or dentists and teams, this is one of my favorite meetings that I get to be a part of across the country.